there needs to be feedback because I think from patients you can gain inside information that perhaps because you work in the environment all the time you might miss or you just don't see. I was anxious because I wondered what it entailed and if patients would use it and be truthful on it but they do really use it, they write really nice things about the wards. The only thing I have got to mention is my pain relief. I just mention it and they'll say yeah we'll sort it out. If I'm honest I was possibly a little cynical but in actual fact I have to swallow my words because as we've rolled it out um, I can see great value. The concept is that every patient coming through the NHS should be asked their opinion. It sounds so easy but already we're seeing it transform hospitals, transform care. It's probably our most important piece of information that we get and um, patients very often don't know how good the clinical quality is and that comes over a period of time but they know instantly whether they've had a positive experience of the hospital, a positive experience of the people that they've met and whether they've been made to feel like human beings and felt listened to. The beauty of this system really is the simplicity, the regular drip feed of small amounts of information that enables you to, to really think about the areas that you want to focus on. People often say in the NHS is we need more information, actually we don't need more information, we need more intelligence and it need, we need to be able to act on that. So for us that's what I Want Great Care can offer us is that intelligence that we need. What we provide is really simple uh, graphical representations of the data. What that means, simple rating. Uh, out of five stars that everyone's familiar with, with TripAdvisor and Amazon. And patients we're especially seeing want transparency. You know, they're used to a society where reviews of whether it be holidays, hotels, books, are up on the web to help them guide their choice. When we get a negative response, I like to look at all the cards that we do get and then I can see if there's a theme and what we can work on, what we can improve on and what we can do to make the patient's experience better. We're a cancer unit and a haematology unit, so we have a lot of patients coming back time and time again for their treatment. So that we, we want to have the assurances that it feels right for them and I think they actually like the opportunity to be open and honest with us and there's so much more in the press now, what with the Mid-Staffordshire problems. And people People know that it's going to be listened to and actually their opinions are going to be heard. Well we've been doing it since March now and um, the first month we had 52 returns, the second month April we had 92 returns and for May we actually had 95 and that was pretty much 100% of our patients we'd had that month that had sent the returns back. Staff morale has just gone through the roof. Um, the staff absolutely love it, they ring me all the time when are our reports coming out, you know, how have we done this month, what is our score, everybody loves it, very, very enthused by it. When we first came into nursing it was important what our patients thought and we did find that out and then we seemed to have lost our way a little bit along the line I think and now the focus is coming back onto the patients and what matters to them. It can be a very sensitive uh, alarm, a smoke detector if you like, for when quality of care might fall. And what we do need is metrics that warn us about when there's going to be disasters, rather than what we've had in the past, systems that report disasters. We have over a million patients a year come through our doors. There's a million opportunities to do something extraordinary for those people. And I Want Great Care was a, a way of giving those million people an opportunity to say what worked, what didn't work, that the million people coming next year could get a better experience, but also a way of those million people saying, you've got some great staff. They did some extraordinary things and we wanted to say thank you to those staff.